morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Cards. I am Jennifer Merle Hampshire, and this episode is brought to you by whispersandink.net, as all episodes are. I, oh my gosh, I had so much fun at Girls Night last night. I wanted to share with you guys um, one of the cards that we did. And if you missed the blog post, the whispers at ink.net, you're going to want to check that out because I don't have all the colors, but I can show you some of the colors that we did on this happy birthday card. How cute is that? And for this background here, this part, we did a watercolor technique using um, the Inspiring Iris and to me, what looks like the cattails. And then, while we were messing around, because it's never serious on Girls Night, I also created, with the help from the girls, we created that card. How pretty is that? And I'll show you, make sure to give you guys a super close up when we switch. Um, oh my gosh, so pretty. And I'll give you a super close up of those other ones too. So I wanna read you the one sentiment though that's in this inspiring iris. And I have to be honest with you, this is the one, the reason that I bought it. And I know that I talked about it last week because we used it for the flowers, these two flowers, um, on the card from last week. However, I wanna make sure that you guys hear this because you guys do this for me. You are somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. I'll read it one more time. You, you are somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. So I want to say thank you for joining me as always. I greatly appreciate that you're here and putting up with my internet. It is a sunny day here in Indiana. I have some more sharing. I have a lot of show and tell. A week ago, I did the Thinking of You stamp a stack. So for the ladies that came, I am very grateful. We had really a lot of fun and we created three cards, but you got four of each of the cards and that's how I've been doing the stamp a stack these days. So if you're short on cards, the stamp a stack's the way to go. Here is the first card, the thinking of you, and everything's going to have that similar sentiment. And this just has the wood grain on the for the background, and the thinking of you and the leaf are from the rooted in nature. And we did kind of sponge up that wood grain just a little bit because it is an embossing folder. And then the next card that we did was using the dandelion wishes. And then, ooh, that butterfly. Um, that comes with the big butterfly dies, the beautiful butterflies, I think is what it is. The one that I cut up, all the little butterflies, all the pieces. But there's several little butterflies like this one in that. So, and then the dandelion itself is just, um, Craft white ink with, of course, you gotta have rhinestones in the middle. It's gotta have some bling. But the last card, which I think, dare I say, I think that this was probably my favorite of the three. And it has nothing to do with color. It has to do with the technique because you can see it's got purple posy. Um, but that is the card. This is another one that you're going to want to see as a close-up, but I did a dauber technique on this part 
and then a little bit of the purple on the top and it turned out so pretty. And like I said, I'll show you that one up close on the camera. And the last show and tell I have is going to be a paper pumpkin alternative sneak peek. I haven't even posted it yet. I am loving the bagalopes and this had big envelopes. So I got a nice big gusset on the side and then I took the scallop rectangle that came with the kit. And the only thing that I added to this, you guys, is the rhinestones and that little piece and then the twine. That twine is from the Magnolia combo pack. And yes, I did put it through the little holes and that's how it's held on. But the cool part is, is that it's easy to slip off. Actually, that's not the combo pack. That's actually the uh, country club suite because it's a garden green. Sorry about that, you guys. But how pretty is that? And then just some rhinestones on the lovely. I did cut, fussy cut the lovely out. And I'm loving my new table. You guys have seen the posts. Oh my gosh, I'm so grateful to my friend Jean and to her lovely daughter for helping me bring this up the stairs. Um, this table is amazing. So for those of you that do in studio, I can't wait for you to, it's so sturdy and it's awesome. So the reminders that I have for you guys is don't forget, you still have time to get the paper pumpkin. You don't want to miss this set. I promise you, you do not want to miss this set. And then I still have a couple of spots left for the retreat, you guys. I want to talk about this retreat for a minute. I want to make sure that you guys understand what you're getting for the $75. You're getting lunch, you're getting dinner, you're getting goodies, you're getting snacks, you're getting um, drinks, water, coffee, tea, you're getting a bunch of pillow gifts and product that you're gonna get plus a bag and all these other things for your $75. And then on top of all of that, you guys get a fun day of having space and meeting new friends. So I've extended the sign up because I have these couple spots left. I've extended the sign up until Monday. Monday is the final cutoff. That's I'm, I'm not going to extend it any more than that. So because I've got still some work to do. I've got goodie bags to or um, pillow gifts to create and I still have a bunch, a bunch of samples, um, ideas in my head. So I want to get those in too, um, get those done so that you guys have a lot of ideas. I want to talk second release. I had to print it cause I can't, I don't know if the, uh, little, um, books are available or not, but you guys, there's a lot of fun ideas in the second release. The, um, I did post a link on the page here, but you will see that Rise and Shine set. You guys, this is a big set. That's the set with the coffee cups. That will be one of my next purchases. I can pretty much guarantee you that. So I am super excited. The vellum. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, that foil paper. You guys have seen a lot of that foil paper. I'd like to say that that foil paper kind of goes along with um, um, February's paper pumpkin. Just saying. And let's see what else we got. Oh, that well-dressed stamp set. That masculine stamp set with the old, like, 20s style um, attire. And then let's see what else. The foil paper, or the vellum paper, and then the um, tags and bloom stamp sets. And that's pretty much everything in that. So 
So some really awesome products in the second release. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I think everything else that I need is on the other side of the table. And you guys, this table is wider. So, and I'm going to guess it's probably at least eight inches wider. Paula, does that sound about right? Because I know that you're here somewhere. Eight inches is a lot of inches, you guys, when you're talking about a table. So, it's not as easy for me to reach across the table <laughs> as it used to be. So, I'm going to take a swig of coffee. You guys take a swig of coffee and I'm going to switch to the other side of the table. So hang on one second. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Becca. Um, I love the dandelions too, Paula. Let's see who else is here. Oh, morning, B. Morning, Nancy. All right, girls, close your eyes. I'm going to flip the camera. Ooh, it's on the other side now. Hang on. Going to flip, flip, flip the camera. Let's see, how'd I do? <gasps> Perfect. All right. We're good. You guys can open your eyes now. All right. Let's see. Hey, Donna, good morning. Okay, so, let's see, where did it go? Oh, darn it. Where is it? I had, I printed out, and I thought it was on the other side, but apparently not. I printed out the pattern for the GDP um, challenge. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. So it's a sketch challenge this week, and I apologize, I'm rolling around, trying not to uh, shake the table too, too much. So just to let you guys think about this for a minute, and, I'll, and then I'll show you the other stuff close up. This is the sketch. It's card base with a layer and then a circle and the greeting. So that's what the sketch is this week. And I think I have an idea, but I figured I'd always, I'd love to check with you guys because you guys are always so helpful. All right. So let's, I'm going to show you the stuff that I told you that I was going to give you a close up of first. Here is. And you guys are gonna have to be patient. I moved, the camera lens used to be over here, and now it's over here. So I have to get used to where the camera lens is. So I apologize ahead of time. There we go. So here's the close-up of the Girls' Night card that we made. And this is that watercolor technique. And I love it. Love, 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 love it. And I particularly love it with the green. And I'm gonna put this one up here because you can see how when you do that watercolor technique that it doesn't, well, again, I'm sorry, you guys. It doesn't go perfect as far as when you're inking up the stamp. And to me, that is um, that makes it more cool little more artistic if you will so those are the two cards that are on the blog post oh my gosh you guys I've been doing two years of Facebook lives with the camera on the other side of the phone so it's gonna take me a while to get used to that anyways there is that card so I did the pink and then last night I did the purple we had some yellow and some blue and um, I think that was the only other colors. I have a load of scraps. And because we do the girls' night in studio, it's fun because we can pick in studio what we want to do, which is the best part. All right. So in here is that other card that we made. 
And I don't know, can you see the Wink of Stella on there? I think a little bit. I hope so. So that's the other card that we create that I created actually when we were messing around talking about stuff. And then the last card is Oh, I know Paula so much more room on that table now. It was nice for everybody to sit together. And I didn't even have that second leaf in the table, so it's gonna be even more awesome. I'm super excited about that. All right, so here, I'm hoping you guys can see there's a light Highland Heather up at the top. And then I did the pool party down at the bottom. There you can see that gets you not as much glare from that light. But isn't that pretty? And just so simple. I love, love, love it. Love it. I don't even think, did I do anything on the inside? Oh, I did just the water, big water lily on the inside. So, anyways, if you guys need, if you ever need a stash of cards, the Stampa Stacks are definitely the way to go now. Definitely. All right. Now you guys have had a little time to process what that um, sketch looks like. And I want to use, does anybody have any ideas? I would like to use that special someone suite and the coordinating dies. These dies are so stinking cute. There's even a little word bubble. And then there's two different size flowers. There's even little grass. Oh, I have a tip for this grass. So, silly me, I went and I cut out, let's see, which one? Oh, I cut this one out because I had just enough room to do two separate sections on this paper here. So, I went to go cut out the other side. Yeah, that didn't work because I ended up cutting off the wrong, I used the wrong side of the die cut. So you're gonna have to be careful. Are you, Paula, I see your question. Paula's asking about Whisper White. Are you, or Very Vanilla. Are you talking about this card, Paula? If you're talking about this card, Paula, this background is Whisper White. These two are die cuts. And then I did this, the dauber in the Highland Heather and in the Pool Party on the Whisper White, if this is the card you're talking about. Let's see what Paula says. Because if it's a different card, I don't want to forget Okay, then yes. Whisper White was this. This is Whisper White here. Whisper White and then daubered with Highland Tether and then daubered with um, Pool Party. And then that's Gorgeous Grape and that's Garden Green. No problem, Paula. All right, so back to this die cut. You want to be careful when you're using the grass which way you cut the die cut. So I wanted to point that out. Um, but how cute. So this stamp set is, oh man, I'm gonna have to move over here. This stamp set is a two-step stamper. Or two-step, yeah, two-step. Two-step stamper because you want the background and then the top. The background and then the top. Same thing with the mouse, background and then the top. And then even the balloons and the flowers are a two-step. So if you want the balloons, you want, and you generally want the background to be lighter and then the outline to be darker. So when we do the squirrel, I did crumb cake for 
this and let me show you. I'll show, actually, let's just stamp it out. We're going to, I'm gonna pull in, here's our squirrel, and I'm using crumb cake and soft suede. And then I'm gonna take a little piece, and I'm starting with Whisper White for my critters. And I did, because I just re-inked my crumb cake, my crumb cake's really juicy, really dark juicy. So when I do the background for the squirrel, I am going to lightly stamp that off a little bit and then stamp the background for the squirrel. And it's not gonna look like anything now, but there is, there is your squirrel right there. But we're gonna do the outline. Oh my gosh, Becca, they're so stinking cute. So stinking cute. Becca says she loves the little critters. You want a full-on ink. Full, oh, man. Sorry, you guys. Full-on ink that critter. And you can see. Now, to line it up, what I worked off of was for both the raccoon and for the squirrel, I worked off of the eyes and the mouth. Because if you get those in the right spot... Pretty much the rest of it is going to be easy. You want to hold down because of the photopolymer. You want to hold down for three seconds. Make sure you imprint in the middle. And then there is your little squirrel. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. And here is what it looks like cut out. So you do get a small reveal. I see those hearts. You do get a small whisper white reveal. I don't think, however, that I would do this on crumb cake because I think it would get too dark. But maybe a vanilla? I haven't tried that one yet. So there's the squirrel. I'm going to put that down so you can see that. There's what the squirrel looks like. And then the next one we're going to do, we're going to do the raccoon. We're going to close up the crumb cake and the soft suede. Because for the raccoon, I'm going to do Sahara Sands for the background. And then Smoky Slate for the outline. I'm going to do the same thing. I got some schmegly on my stamp. Hang on, guys. The heck is that? Boogers. Not really. Just kidding. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing for the background of the body. I'm going to lightly stamp it off. And then... Here is, and hold for three seconds, here is the squirrel, or the squirrel, sorry, the raccoon. And then we're going to do the outline. Same thing that I did with the squirrel as far as the lineup. Work off of the eyes and the nose. Can you see? Even here, once you get that in the right spot, you can actually see it through the block. You can see the stamp or see the image. Because I'd like to, I hope you guys can actually see that. I'm going to try to slide this off. Can you guys see? You can actually see the face after you've stamped it. And there, there is your little raccoon. How cute is he? So cute. 
And then here is the raccoon that I cut out already. And there's the one that we just stamped. So the last thing that we're gonna stamp, and this is another two-step stamp, is the flower. We're gonna do, there's two flowers on here. This bigger flower and then the smaller flower. I did the bigger flower, the bigger flower here. Here's the smaller one. And you'll see that it's got a background for each one. So same concept. And for the outline of the flower, you could go with a green, but I wanna show you why I didn't go with the green. We're gonna stamp this image. And there is the flower outline. But then I'm gonna bring in, and Paula, this is all for you. I gotta flip this over. The best way to line this one up, and there is a right and wrong way for this one, you guys. Is it this way? Nope, this way, here we go. This is the way. Check it out first, right? Sorry, hang on. Yeah, it's that way. Okay. Put it on your block the way that you want it. Good morning, Cindy. Grins and giggles. Yeah. Go ahead and make fun. I'm using the pineapple punch. And you're going to, this is going to give you that watercolor-ish look as well. Hold down for your three seconds. And this is one, it doesn't matter if it's exactly perfect. You could take some Wink of Stella and pull in that yellow and fill in anything that's not where you want it to be. But once you get it cut out, it's gonna look like this one. It's gonna look like this. So here's the reason why I did not use the green. Because what we're gonna do is pulled in the granny apple green, which is the same green that I used from for the grass. And all we're going to do is we're going to take our spatula and we're adding the green color. Now don't dig the spatula into the ink pad because you'll ruin your ink pad. All I was doing was pressing it on the ink to get the green leaf and then to pull up the rest of the color. Where is it? Here it is. Pull up the rest of that color. You can use your Wink of Stella. You can use your Aqua Painter. You can use your Blender Pen to pull up the rest of that green. I know you'll miss the pineapple punch, Paula. But you don't know what they're bringing in yet. Nobody knows. So here are the bits and pieces, you guys. This is what I have. I have grass. I have raccoons and squirrels. And I even did up some more flowers. And then I did two word bubbles because I thought it would be kind of fun for each of the critters to say something. And I pulled in, I have another piece of Whisper White.
And I'm gonna do um, the big two and a quarter inch circle punch. And we're gonna build off of this. Cause this is, remember, the circle. That's going to be, this is our circle. My thought was, is that we're gonna keep this nice edge big piece as a bottom, but I wanna build up on this, well, wrong one, on the green. We're gonna take the one that's got the bad edge on it first. And we're going to, I think we're gonna glue that on and then we'll build up from there and put this on dimensionals and maybe put critters first. What do you guys think? While I'm waiting for your responses, I'm gonna poke out these flowers. These flowers are part of this die set too, you guys. So we got all these little cute little flowers here. And where's my take your pick tool? Where'd I put it? Didn't I just have it? Yes, I did. Okay. Goodness gracious. It's too much table. Too much room now. Because now I can't find anything. All right, so we have a whole bunch of flowers. Anybody else have any suggestions? I see your clap claps, Paula. Thank you so much. Anybody else have anything? Are you, you liking where we're going here? Bobble, yeah. Thank you, Paula, but I can't see the bobblehead nodding. <laughs> All right. Well, if we're bobblehead nodding, then I'm going to attach some of this stuff and kind of go from here. So we're going to put that grass there. And I'm thinking... Thinking that we're gonna cut this grass off here and here that's the back side I was cutting off the back all right so there is the the start of it and I'm thinking I think we'll do the raccoon on this side or the squirrel on this side and I think we're going to do the raccoon on the top because what we're what I'm thinking is is that we're going to do we'll do this piece down there and then we'll do the raccoon and then we'll do the other piece like that And I think, here's a tip for you guys. We're gonna take this circle punch. I've got a jagged edge. Can you guys see the jagged edge there? I'm gonna take the circle punch and I'm gonna round it. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side to carry through that kind of circle-y look. And I keep going too far up in that camera, you guys. I'm so sorry. Close your eyes for a second, you guys. Okay. All right. I moved up the camera a little bit. So maybe I won't keep going out of the shot. But see how... I don't have... Here. See how I kind of finished up the edges there and there? That's why I did what I just did because I'm not gonna cut those edges and I'm gonna do the same thing to this big piece. Just gonna clean up that edge using that big circle. Same thing that I just did with the other one. Ooh, how'd I get that? Oh, I put it in the wrong spot. There we go. 
So same thing, just cleaning up those edges a little bit. And then for this one, I want to grab, I thought I did grab it, but I must not have forgotten. I want to grab the There it is. The Granny Apple Dauber. And we're going to darken these guys up a little bit. And of course, I have no, I cleaned off the table after the girls left last night. And I threw all of my scrap papers in the trash. So I'm darkening up the tips. And it doesn't look darker until you put it against, and actually that doesn't look darker. Hmm. Maybe, I saw the ink, there we go. Apparently my dauber was really dry. There we go. So when it goes, it's gonna look like it's got some shadowing. Hey, Kareen, there's the shadowing. And I think, if I can carefully do it. Oh, there we go. We just squeeze that skinny paper in there and we're gonna do it to this one too. Am I supposed to say hello to Logan today? All right, let me get that out of there. All right, so there is that. And then we'll have this, close up this ink for the moment. Hmm. What do you guys think? What do you guys think so far? What do you guys think? Now, because I cleaned up these edges, I wanna make sure that this kind of gets centered. There we go. I think I wanna do a little bit more on this flower tip. There we go. Because, 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 because. All right, guys, start thinking what else we're going to use. Here's our flower. Because we're going to put the raccoon for the raccoon. Why do I keep missing, mixing these guys up? Squirrel, raccoon, my goodness, you'd think I'd be able to tell the difference. So we're gonna do that there. And then I think we're gonna put this one on too. But I think I'm gonna use flat edging for this one. This is one of the reasons why I love our dimensionals. Because it's got some skinnier sections to the regular size dimensionals so that you can do like what I just did. Love our dimensionals. Love, love, love. There we go. And then I wanna make sure 
There we go. I think maybe our raccoon. All right. Paula says, kind of mix the dog. Yeah. Kind of like mixing up the dogs and the cats. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So, I did crumb cake card base. I'm sure y'all are shocked by that. I picked from the Pleased as Punch designer series paper. I chose this. This is where I picked up the Granny Apple Green. So here is the outline. Just like this one. Here is the outline with a little bit of the edge. So I'm going to tape runner this on. Just like that. Kind of in the middle, but I did run it from end to end. Just like the picture, just like the sketch. And here is where we're starting. So see how cute? Oh yeah, I'm thinking that the raccoon's gonna go there. What do you guys think so far? Are we in the right place? Did I go off the reservation? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So cute. And then we'll get them, the critter saying, saying happy birthday. That's what I'm thinking. While well, I'm waiting for responses, go pull the happy birthday out. Happy birthday. Nancy, how are you feeling? You've been awfully quiet. Five hundred blocks in this house, and I don't have I don't have a block that doesn't have something on it close by. Here we go. Ugh. So Grand, what should we stamp that happy birthday in, you guys? This is super cute. I am loving it. Loving it, loving it. Oh, and then I have something else I wanted to show you guys because I thought it was super cute. Something else that's included in this. Are we good with this so that I can put this poor little raccoon in place? I think I'm putting the raccoon there. There we go. Uh-oh, there we go. He needs to be held down. And I'm all right, guys. So how many dimensionals? I put two dimensionals there, right? So here's what we're gonna do. By the ear, morning Carolyn, I have to double stack the dimensionals because I have already added in two dimensionals. So we're just going to place one on top of the other so that it looks like he's sitting up straight, and then it'll attach to that round circle. Just like that. And then he's actually where he's supposed to be. 
Nobody is squished. Everybody is good. There we go. Done and done. So, Granny Apple Green or Pineapple Punch for the sentiment, you guys? That's the question. That is the question. Granny Apple Green, Pineapple Punch. Granny Apple Green, Pineapple Punch. And this is, I want to do happy birthdays. And each of the critters, we're going to do critter here and critter here are going to say, actually, I think we might do this one this way. Nah. I think we'll do it this way. Happy birthday. Which, which color though? That's the question. Thank you, Paula. I think that's super cute. Loving it. Loving, loving, loving it. I have, um, there is, you'll see in here, I'll show you, that little piece right there. There's actually two. It's little bows. Well, not sure that the pineapple punch will show up, huh? Well, let's try it out. Let's see. We'll stamp it on our scrap piece here. Because that'll be the white. Can you see it? I don't know, I think I could see it, particularly on the white. But here's the, I'll put do it in the granny apple so that you can see what that looks like compared to the pineapple punch, how's that? Those are your choices. Pineapple punch on the bottom and the granny apple green on the top. Those are the choices. Do, 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 do. All right. Which, 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 which should we do? We could do one of each. We could. I actually like that idea. Two different critters, two different colors. Hey, Joyce. We're trying to decide which way we like the happy birthday, in the granny apple green or in the pineapple punch. Pineapple punch or granny apple green? Paula says granny apple green. And I don't know. Somebody needs to help me make these decisions. Guys are sleeping. Maybe you didn't have enough of your morning beverage this morning. Joyce says green too. All right, let's just do the green. Anybody else? Final, final answer. Final answer. Final answer. All right. Before I stamp, any more? No more. Okay. Green it is. All right. Inks are done. Now let's assemble this little bad boy here. We're gonna just do, I'm actually gonna do Tombow on this one, you guys, so that I can wiggle it around to get it in the exact spot that I want. Let 
that and because tape runner refills are on back order there we go all right so that's that and we're gonna do the dimensional on this word bubble here and I think this one I'm gonna do glue dots because I'm gonna put right on the raccoon's belly I'm gonna do the word bubble just like that and here's the little cutie I actually had to put it on my reverse tweezers because I was worried about losing it. That is the little bow. And I'm going to put it on, oh goodness, there was glue there. I don't want to squeeze too hard. Oh, there we go. Apparently my multi-glue is getting low. There is where that little red bow is going to go. And I put it on the tweezers because I didn't want it to get lost. That was a big issue last night. Things were getting lost on the floor. Too busy laughing and having fun last night. And then we're going to put a couple of these little flowers around like this. What do we think? Cute? Different placements? What do you think? Because you know they're not going to go exactly where I laid them out anyways because I move them around. guys are killing me today. You guys sleeping? I don't know how you guys could be sleeping on such a beautiful day today. That. Put that one there. I'm using the putty end of the take your pick tool. Thank you, Paula. Okay, so, hey, you guys, you know how we all make mistakes, okay? And I'm going to throw myself under the bus. Do you see the dauber had too much ink on it right there? So we're going to try to disguise it just a little bit. Break it up a little bit. Because what we're going to do is... We're going to bury it in the flower. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right. And then I'm thinking, should we do some bling on these flowers, you guys? At least this big one. Yes, no, maybe. I'm thinking we should. And I'm thinking just regular rhinestones. Although, although, I do have the happiness blooms and we could do those, the pineapple punch ones. Won't be able to see those as well. 
as the rhinestones. So rhinestones or pineapple, and trust me, I have a bunch. They're just up in the thing. Rhinestones or the pineapple punch for the flowers, or we could mix it up. Mix it up. We could do three flowers with the rhinestones and three flowers with the pineapple punch. Happiness blooms dots. I like the idea of mixing it up. Here is your close up, Paula. How cute. There's your close up. Hmm. What do you think, girls? Are we mixing it up? And don't forget, if you learned something today, you know that five-letter word that I need to, can't really say, but I want to say. So we've got pineapple punch and rhinestones. Oh my gosh, too cute. Too, too cute. Thank you, Paula. <clears throat> Nancy says, mix it up. Anybody else? I'm thinking mix it up too. I really like that idea. Yep, mixing it up. All right, girls. We're going to do three and three. We're going to do these two down here with that one up there. And then we're going to do this one down here. And then this one here and this one up here. And you'll still be able to see those pineapple punch ones. Come on, you need to cooperate. There we go. Oh my goodness, so cute. All right, so here's the close up. You can still see the pineapple punch ones. How cute. Well, I don't think that this is too much the middle child though, Paula. But it is really cute. All right, guys, that's all I got. Any questions? Oh, did you guys know, did I mention, have I mentioned that for the retreat, there is going to be a retreat to go packet. And there's also a PDF purchase that you can make. I think I forgot to mention that earlier. I think I did. Anyways. Thank you, and don't forget, you know what to do. Oh, that button right there. Be sure to help others learn things, and watch for the blog post, for those of you that follow the whispersandink.net. I hope that you can join me next week, and thank you for joining me today. I greatly appreciate you. Oh, last week's winner. I almost forgot. Last week's winner was, who was it? Oh, shoot. I don't have it written down, and I'm trying to remember who it was. I'll have to post. I'll post later. I have to find the cards. Last week's winner 
And there's actually two winners for last week. Holy cow. Thanks for joining me. I will post those later this afternoon. I'm writing myself a note so I don't forget. And if you have any questions, do go ahead and say po uh, make a comment and have a great day getting crafty today, you guys. Sorry for this crazy organization skills today. Talk to you soon. Bye.